Hello YouTube. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get very high detail smoke simulations. And the incredible thing about this is that you won't have to bake at any kind of high resolution. So for example, this, this bake and this one, these two are only baked at around 80 resolution. Yet they look like they were baked around 300. Um, this is an amazing technique that allows you to get so much detail basically for free meaning you don't have to spend um, days or hours or days baking a simulation um, because you can fake it all with shader notes um, and this one right here was only baked at 96 resolution and I didn't do much compositing on this this is pretty much how it looked and you could see all this detail um, like all this wispiness that's all added in with shader notes um, so yeah, let's um, jump on in and I'll show you how I did this. So this is our simulation. Again, baked at, I believe, let's check. This one may be, um, let's see, the domain is here. And it looks like I baked it at uh, 80. So this is only 80 resolution. That is a very low simulation. It only took around three minutes to bake. Um, 250 frames so really fast um, but look at all this detail um, so I'm just gonna compare this to the normal principal volume shader just to show how different this looks so this is the my optimized shader I made and this is the one before that and let me just turn um, the bounces down of the volume because it will slow rend- eh, actually it seems like it's rendering pretty good so look at how much detail is lost um, now it just kinda looks all um, blobby and it doesn't look nice at all and all that wispiness is lost and this is what a low res simulation looks like so I'm gonna explain what's going on here basically um, now this whole entire node tree I couldn't possibly cover it in this video um, there's a lot to it but I'll explain the basics and this file will be available on my patreon um, so check it out and you can use the shader for any kind of work you want to do um, or for your own projects so please feel free to use it um, again this file will be on my patreon so and the link is in the description so this shader is massive um, but basically it's actually pretty simple what I'm doing I'm basically taking the velocity and that is very important because normally what you could do is you could take the um, density of the smoke and that would be the density attribute and then you could subtract um, a noise texture from it but the thing is you need to have that noise connected to velocity otherwise what's going to happen is you're going to have this noise texture in the texture but it's going to be superimposed and it's not going to follow the smoke and that will look very unrealistic so the trick to getting realistic smoke is to use the velocity attribute um, that that makes things much better um, and then I just did a lot of multiplications like I took the temperature and I believe I multiplied that by some noise which is again connected to the velocity um, right here so I took this and I multiplied that by I took the velocity and then multiplied that by the density um, and then I did the same with the temperature which I believe I multiplied by the density but I also had some noise shaders which were connected into the velocity and then I just connected this all together doing some color ramps and customization um, and yeah so I made a more simplified setup down here um, that I will explain and cover on this video so you guys can kind of jump on in and create something on your own um, if you want so yeah so I got the velocity attribute here and I got a noise texture and then all I did is took an attribute 
So you just, to edit an attribute, you just type in density, just like that. And then I multiplied that and then used a color ramp and then plug that into the density. So to view this node, the principal volume, you control shift click and you could see, um, you know what, let's lower, raise the step size because it's pretty slow on my PC. And this is cycles X, so this these shaders can be demanding for render time, but they're sure awesome when you don't want to spend time simulating. And already this looks better than this one. This one just looks, uh, especially at the bottom, it looks very blobby and this one kind of reduces that. Of course it's not going to be nearly as nice as this one because I have a lot of um, operations I did on this one. But uh, the overall concept is the same. It's just about mixing and multiplying a bunch of shaders together. But the trick is to always connect your noise texture to a velocity. That is extremely important and that's what allows you to get awesome results. Um, so yeah, that this is the shader. Um, let me make my screen bigger so you guys can kind of copy it. Um, and if you're using the shader, just keep multiplying things. So like, for example, take maybe... Um, you got this output here on the density. Maybe take this again and then multiply it by um, maybe another noise texture. So shift D and then maybe change the scale up. Maybe add in a color ramp to that noise texture and maybe bring this up, change the values around. Let's see, let's bring that to like 30 and then vector and bring that into the vector and this should not be connected to the color that should be in the vector and then connect this into the value and then already the whole entire look changes so um, let's just adjust that and you could see we're already changing the way this looks and you can you can bring the scale down kind of create some randomness and you just layer this on one over another and it and the complexity look at the bottom is already getting is basically adding up each time um, yeah let's bring the roughness up a bit like 0.6 yeah so that that's the overall trick to this um, so yeah, I hope this video helped you guys. Um, again, the file, this um, whole blend file will be available on my Patreon. Um, you will have to bake this, but it should only take a few minutes. Around, It took only two minutes on my system because it's so low res. You do not have to bake it at, at a resolution above like 80. So, um, yeah, so I'll have this up, this file, and feel free to use any of these shaders for your own projects. Um, thank you for watching, and hope we'll be back soon. Thank you, guys.